Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series I'm going to be covering on the channel. This is Life in a Bunker. This is by Flox Studios who were kind enough to give me a copy of the game, a bit early access, so I could show you guys exactly what's going on. So this is a developmental build, so things are subject to change, although I've been assured that there isn't an awful lot that's going to be changing. Life is a Bunker, what's that about? Basically, it's a sandbox bunker building simulator. Think of it along the lines of a Evil Genius, Dungeon Keeper, and Rimworld, all smushed into one, with a little bit of Nemoria, just to, uh, to give it a wee edge. So before I, I start shouting on about a load of crap, let's get going. So uh, we need a name, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Megaton. Megaton. Uh, we'll go with a small world size for now. Uh, we'll just have everything normal and just go to the tutorial. Complete base. How many populations growth that loaded too quick? It's on my SSD, so bear that in mind. Congratulations, you've just been elected as our new warden. This is a compulsory induction course for the new bunker wardens. But, you know, it was all written by some bureaucrats who have never actually lived in a bunker. If you know your way around, we can just skip, skip it and jump right down to business. I won't tell anybody, promise. Yes, we shall begin the course. Move around to the WS and keys. I can do that. Annoyingly, the scroll wheel is backwards, so that is uh, me scrolling down and that is me scrolling up. Uh, camera rotation with Q and E, zoom in with F and G, and Z and X changes tilt. Time is an abstract thing and goes differently, so we've got time controls in the top left. Uh, we've got different grids, so much like uh, a prison architect where you've got your water grid, your power grid, and your regular grid. I've uh, also got oxygen, so each level of the bunker, and yes, there's multiple levels. It's not just a Dungeon Keeper-esque one level thing, it's more Nemoria, uh, not, not so much Dungeon Keeper and Evil Genius where it's one level, it's like Nemoria, there's multiple levels, so each underground uh, level has its own oxygen level, lack of oxygen, and the air can have dreadful consequences for the residents. Every warden must remember that the bunker can grow not only wide, but deep. Uh, press tab to view the statistics. Uh, these are my different control options. That's my cursor, that's the fundamental structures like doors and walls. Uh, this is the items that go into rooms, and that's to destroy shit. Then we've got all these different tabs along the top. So from left to right, we've got population, research points, garbage, our build materials, our ore, then our fruits. Vegetables, grains, and fish. Everyone must remember that the gradual change of generations is vital for a long and successful life in the bunker. Select an incubator. Each incubator can simultaneously sus sustain and produce up to three embryos. Press the little egg button to com commence production of new residents. Once the embryo is fully developed, a new, healthy child will appear in the bunker. Okay, so we need to grab a little person maker and make three of them. The Bunker One is also in charge of distributing jobs among the residents. The Bunker residents are capable of doing many jobs, but every resident is unique and can be assigned to specific tasks. Select a resident and give him or her one of the available professions. You can also grant and change professions in the Bunker Stats window on the tab Residents. Once you've made yourself familiar with this procedure, select and assign three residents to be workers. We need three residents for workers. We can rename them, which is exactly what I'm going to do, but not in this episode, I'll do that in the next episode. So if you want your name to be in the Life is Bunker Bunker, and probably die a horrible death, then drop your name in the comment section below, I will be using my master name list for this as well, and I will be randomising it all, so drop your name in it and you may be added. Right, let's have a little look at what each of these people can do. So, is there... No, nothing really. So some of them have got restrictions, so your profession, you could be a worker or a janitor. So what makes... Why can you be a farmer? Harry Bush? Any reason? No, no reason at all. Alright, so let's make a couple of workers. I mean, well you can be a worker or a gardener, and you can be a worker or a gardener. That's fine, and so can you. A worker or a janitor, rather. Any future warden must know the bunker, as every other home, must be kept clean. To tackle this, you'll need janitors. 
Janitors clean the garbage in the bunker and clear the landfalls. All collected garbage goes into the waste container. Now pick up a resident and make him a janitor. Yes, I completely understand it's pronounced garbage. At one point, you won't have enough space to build new objects. That's when you'll have to knock down a few walls to do some digging. On the modes panel, choose destroy mode and select the place where you want to destroy. Uh, mark a ten, mark ten by ten tiles. Alright, I can do ten by ten tiles. There's a little man moving around out here. See him? I know what he's doing. He's shimmying. Uh, right, I need 10 by 10 tiles, so I don't think we do need quite as much. Can I? Is there any way? It doesn't tell me, but is there any way to draw, to draw a square? Uh, actually, I want all of that, and I want those three destroyed. I don't think there is. What are we at? 1, 2, th one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, technically 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Apparently that cannot be destroyed, but that could mean that it's just a hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Tick. And then, obviously, that's the tenth. Actually, no, we'll need. Oh no, we won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. I'm being. I'm being silly there. Right. So they are destroying bits for us right now. So let's speed up until they've done that. Because I've done a three, a little three entrance here, is so that we can have a door. So I'll get them to do that next while well, they're doing that. Uh, Warden, please concentrate. By building floors, you automatically build ceilings as well. Thus, placing floors on clear ground can help protect from landfalls in the future. Several types of flooring. Some objects can be built only on a specific type of floor. For instance, many reactors or refineries can only be built on concrete. On the modes panel, select fundamental structures, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and let's place a nice red floor on it. First off, I'm going to place a little single door right there, and let's grab a floor as well. Uh, when automatic doors lose power or get broken, they must be manually opened. Okay. Uh, I want a couple more builders though. I think this might have just lost power, but we can sort that soon enough. Yeah, so we're going with a, a lovely red floor right now. We don't need these sections because we're just going to put walls on them. Ah, that's why we couldn't build there. Not because there was a hole, but because there was a... ...unminable tile. Definitely fine. Alright, come on gentlemen. There we are. Tick. Uh, let's... Oh! Small earthquakes can cause landfall on empty tiles on Lake. Uh, until the janitors clean the debris, you cannot build on these. So that's that tile there. And uh, Janny's got his wee hoover out. It's fine. Vacuum cleaner, should I say. So I'm not using brand names. It's funny that that's one of the brand name, those brand name things that... We Brits use. Quite, uh, quite substantially as a hoover instead of a vacuum cleaner. Which is weird. Because hoover's not even a big bloody brand. Anyway, and these walls. Yes, we've just done that. Warden, your resident can of course sleep on... Your residents can of course sleep on the floor. But they'll have a far better sleep in comfy soft beds. Build six single beds in a room you've just built. On the modes panel, click blah. Alright, so let's go to infrastructure. Residential zone. Single beds. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we are. Woo, all the beds are getting built. Fantastic. 
So now I should build two toilet cabinets and two shower pods. Basically the exact same way. Residential zone, shower pod. And toilet cabins. Uh, don't, don't, don't. So when I was destroying it. Yeah, you don't need to connect everything up to the water grid. Uh that's like gone done fuck that. Can we go at regular speed please? Yes, there there we go. Disassemble it. Right now I need to connect it all up to the water grid, so let's go into water grid. Let's choose this and the water. Okay. There we are. And if we place that, then our little workers will go ahead and start working on placing the water grid in for us. Okay, basically what the, the other thing in that tutorial says is don't build two water pumps attached to one water grid so it will cause a shutdown. Exact same with reactors. Do more in order to replenish the building supplies, you need building materials, you, so you'll need to start building ore. To do that, build a mining machine and shove it in an ore deposit. You most likely have to dig up one of these. That's fine, because we have one right here. So what I'm going to do is destroy that, that, and that. Indeed. And then I'm going to dig out this little room that we've got. Tick. Big tick. Then can we get a... Door right there. And shove in some blue floors. So why the hell not? I think that was my door getting plugged in. These doors need electricity in order to function. Bong. Alright. I don't know why you went into that little ducket, mate. Alright. Almost there. If I get some walls around here. Buddy, you might want to move out of there. Are you actually just building yourself in? Are you a complete moron? Jesus. Alright, well, while, while they're trying to fucking sort that out, let's get a mining machine shoved onto here. Right, now we can pop the wall in and hopefully, yes. Hopefully someone doesn't trap themselves like an idiot. Right. Fucking... Who are you? Harry Bush. Eh. Yeah. Don't trust you. So the main machine will need power, so I need to hook up the power the exact same as I hooked up the water. Okay. And luckily doors can uh can pass power through them anyway. There we go, we'll be able to hook up both of these and connect it all up to here. It'll all start uh, connecting up, we need the, this uh, valuable little section here. Oh, we've got little kids running around. Build materials, warden, the ore is just a raw component. In order to build new structures, we need building materials. Build a refinery to turn the ore into building materials. Clear some space for a concrete floor, a 2 by 3 The refinery can only be built on reinforced floor. 
Right, so let's go... Whoops, wrong one. Cancel. Back onto the regular viewing situation. And... I would like to bust through here. This little mole man is just kicking about. Oh, that's a different type of uh, of rock. Hey, big tick. Oh, I should probably also like remove this stuff as well. Remove the insides. Probably a good idea. Hello, kiddly wink. What's your name? Alessandra Polion Alessandra Polionka. Interesting. You probably don't want to be beside that. Now we've done, you've made the light turn red. <laughs> oh. Damn. And, uh, a wee bit of a cave in there, eh? Alright, let's set up some walls. I don't know why there's a child running around during the cave in. Or in the area that just caved in, rather. Alright. Got that one as well, please. Thank you. And go. Start building. Alright, I want this to be a red floor as well. Big tick. And I would like a single door here. Thank you very much. Oh, feck. Uh, no, you need to... Metal floor. Concrete floor. Ah, uh, okay. So I need to... Demolish that. So I can build a proper floor. My bad. Come on. There we go. Right, to build a concrete floor for us. And then I'm going to need a refinery. Which can go right at the back. Fucking really? What happened to that last piece of concrete? Jesus. Come on, buddy. There we are. Right, let's shove the refinery there. Fire the concrete floor. I should not get trapped in there. There's a fucking industrial scale refinery coming around. Misako Barbash. Five age units. Children and el elderly residents cannot be assigned. Alright. I need to connect it to power as well, so let's do that. Alright. Oops, you forgot some. Oops, something's just broken down. If you didn't forget to assign an engineer, he will quick. If you, yeah, he'll quickly deal with this issue. No, I don't have an engineer, but you can be an engineer. You can be a chef. What else do we have? As a warden, you must know that extracted ore and produced building materials are both kept in special storages. After a storage was built, you must select what type of resources to be stored there, otherwise the unassigned storage will not be used. Warden, the residence was, won't last long without food. Build a kitchen in the group residential zone, select the kitchen and place it so that the cook has access to it. Then, after the kitchen is complete, connect water and power to it. If the kitchen is connected, you'll see green and the blue lamps on top. Make one of the residents a cook. More than the residents won't lost lang, lost, lost lang, last long without food. Alright, residential zone. I need a kitchen. Our residents are starving. That's fine. Like, I can go there. Uh, one, the oxygen level has begun to decrease. It may have been caused by either the population's rapid growth or by a faulty air purifier. Yeah, I think it's probably just an air purifier that's went a bit funky. Yeah, it looks like the yeah the big air purifiers a bit broken. There we go, it's fixed now. 
We're all good. We're all good. What's this? Oh, that's the entrance. Okay. So after the pollution on the outside goes down, so that's 50 cycles, then we can leave the bunker and, and live out on the surface and it'll be, all will be glorious. But unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. So do remember, and it does matter a lot more with a brand new series, to drop a like down below and to drop a comment as well because that helps me a lot in the SEO department, which gets me more people coming to the channel. And to subscribe if you want to see more. But I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.